What's good, everybody in the building, man? It's your boy, Tony D2Wild, checking in once again. And we're back with the bank of the day, guys, on an unboxing of a... Whew! 1895 Marley. Today, guys, we have our hands and we are cleared and safe of a Marlin 1895. And this is actually the Trapper Edition, the uh, Skimmer Trapper Edition. There's the Marlin 1895 in the ASBL and the Marlin 1895 in the Trapper or, you know, shorter barrel and, you know, different type of Picatinny rail on the top. I went with this one because I love the compact fit of the 16 inch barrel. I love the weathered look. I love the finish. It's amazing. Okay. Now this is a 4570 government. It's a round that I'm not at all familiar with. Brand new round for me. I haven't even shot this yet. I wanted to give you guys the unboxing of this because I wanted to go ahead and get it out the way. I've had this for a little while now and I have not shot it yet. And I just wanted to give you guys unboxings of pretty much everything before, you know, we go out there and give you, I want to give you my impressions of the gun before I even shoot the gun. This bad boy right here though, it's a beauty. It's just very, very, very sexy, okay? I actually had a lever gun in 22. I got rid of it. I'm gonna get one later on, but I got rid of it. I actually bought two lever guns that I would never even be able to show on this channel because I got rid of them. It was, th it was the Henry 22 and it was also a Citadel Levtech 92 in 357. They were good guns, they were cool, they were fun, but I really wanted just to go, like I'm at the end of the day at this point with a lot of things with me, is don't buy small just to upgrade later on. Just go full fledged. Buy once, cry once. And that was in one of the awakenings for me when I got those two because I got those two and I felt still like unfulfilled in a way. And I was like, bro, I need to go with the, the, real, the, real, the real ones, man. The Marlins, you know, the Marlin or the Henry and go with the 45 government. And that's what we got here. Beautiful gun. I love the, the wood stock on here. They have it, of course, black with brown wooding. This one, of course, though, is in this like gray finish and I really, really love it. Apparently, you know, Marlin was owned by Remington and it got like, it just crashed bankrupt or something like that. It was doing horrible. And then it was bought by Ruger and salutes to Ruger for keeping traditional rifles alive. I own a Mini 14 from Ruger, a Ruger Precision, a Ruger, uh, ranch. I own a lot of guns from Ruger and I feel like Ruger still to this day has just delivered on good quality guns at a very fair and decent price. And they pretty much have revived the Marlin brand and this is one of the guns, you know, added to the list. There's also, I think, the Marlin 338, which is also basically very close to this, but it has the 357 round in it, which I made down the road actually get. Now, what is my plans for this gun yet? Bruh, I bought this gun thinking like go Ranger Precision Point stock, swap out the handguard, go full tactical, you know, cowboy with it. And once I got in the hand, I'm like, bro, do I really want to, do I really want to change anything, bro? Like this thing's amazing. Of course, it has the threaded barrel. So you could take, you know, put your silencer on there, which another whole issue. I just got some silencers that won't, of course, be here for like the next year. So here's the. Here's the barrel, let me thread, you know, this little thread protector. I got some I got some suppressors on the way, okay? But we're not gonna see those for what, a year? You feel me at this point? However, for 45 government, you gotta get a, you know, 45 government suppressor. I think a hybrid, a 40, Silencer Co has the 46 hybrid. I gotta get a certain type of suppressor because these bullets are just so damn big. You feel me? It's not anything, not even a 300 blackout uh, suppressor round could take the 458. Is, is just too big. So I gotta find another way to cough up that down the road so that I can actually fully suppress this the way I want to. But the wood is amazing, you know. Do I wanna change the handguard out? Do I wanna keep it all wood? Do I wanna change this out? It's very, very tough to say. It makes me almost feel like now nah, I definitely gotta get the 357 and keep maybe that in its stock form or keep this in its stock form and then, you know, change out the 357 to the more tactical type of build. But I mean, do you hear that? That's heaven, bro. Matter of fact, I got the, I got the sound right here. Listen to it. 
you got the little spur I installed on here. And I read now the spur is supposed to, if you're right-handed, it goes on the left side. That's what I heard. Even though it feels like it would make more sense to go on the right side, feel free to let me know. But I heard it's also preference. But I see though that the left side is actually good because when you had, you know, when you're holding the gun, you're holding it like that. So you can easily just put your thumb like that. So yeah. Has a safety, of course, safety mechanism right there. So even though I pulled the trigger and it did that, it didn't hit the pin. It didn't fire, actually fire the actual round. So there's some, you know, cool safety features there. Has this skimmer sight on the top that for the most part is very nice. There's aperture rings. Now I can't remember. And if you actually own this, let me know. I don't, I was looking through the box and for some reason in my head, I feel like I saw them have rings in the box that you can switch out for, but maybe I was wrong. And if not, then I have to just buy them, but there's different aperture rings because basically you might not be able to see, you can actually see it, cool. You can actually see the app, you see the hole of the aperture is trying to focus. You can see the hole though, y'all see how big it is. There's different ones that are smaller so that you can get a more precise hit on your target. This one right now is pretty open up and big. How I plan on using this, I don't, it's gonna be a fun gun. It's not gonna be a precision gun, but hey, if I can be a little precise, why not? You know, why not if I can? But I can also take this off. I probably plan on taking this off and putting a Picatinny you know, type uh, Picatinny rail on the top so I could probably put a scope or LPVO or even a red dot. I don't know yet. I don't know which, I felt like I had everything planned for this until I got it. And that's when I'm like, bro, do I just want to keep it stock and just be a, be a cowboy? You know what I'm saying? First things first is I just need to shoot it and then I can dictate everything else. I've heard that the 4570 kicks like a mule. That's the saying, right? And um, I've been looking, looking just to get that anticipated recoil. I looked up, you know, how does it shoot and people, you know, the, the closest thing I've seen it kind of too was like a 12 gauge shotgun for the round. And I actually have the round right here. So this is a nine millimeter. This is a 357. So you have a 357 and you got a nine millimeter right here. Well, this is a 45 government. I mean, you can clearly see the difference here. This is a uh, insane round in my opinion, and it's a big boy round. Here it is compared to the nine millimeter right there. Even to give you a better look, this is the 45 government compared to a 223 round. And you can see once again, it's a difference. This is a bear killer. They say it's the, this the bullet you need to kill bears and buffaloes and all that with. So we gonna see how this bad boy is at the end of the day. Loading it is amazing. This, this loading right here, easy to get a bullet in, easy to get a bullet out. The actual bolt has like the grooves in there. The grooves are meant for like less contact on the inside. So it's a more, easier, you know what I'm saying? Lever or brake, whatever action. It's so much easier just to crank it out. I'm not good at flipping it yet. I'm not, I'm scared of flipping it, bust my head right, bust my lip right there. I'm still scared, so. But yeah, man, this this bad boy is amazing, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, I cannot wait to get this thing out and about and uh, make some love to it. Marlon did a phenomenal job. I'm definitely gonna, you know, keep you guys updated and I'm more likely to get something out at least there's some shooting of it, video of it, footage of it by the end of next week. Like I want, I, I can't, I can't wait anymore on this. So yeah. And you know, check it out. You got Marlin on the back. You got the Marlin on the bottom right there. Yeah, man. The wood smells good. Hopefully this ain't laminate and this is straight up wood. It better be wood for how much this thing go for, if you feel me. But um, amazing. Any thoughts and recommendations? Let me know. Woo! The Marlin 1895. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I'm out. I love y'all. Peace.